Writing style informative. Hey everyone, I'm here today to dive into one of the most monumental events in the democratic world, the Indian election of 2024. Imagine a country with over 1.4 billion people and nearly 960 million eligible voters. That's right, almost three times the entire population of the United States. This isn't just any election, it's a democratic showcase on an epic scale. Voting is set to begin on April 19th and will be staggered in seven phases over six weeks. The sheer logistics of this event are mind-blowing. Picture this, over a million polling booths and nearly 15 million polling personnel working tirelessly to make this democratic exercise possible. Now, why should this matter to you? Well, aside from the fact that it's a fascinating exercise in large-scale democracy, the outcome of this election could influence global economics, politics and more. The incumbent Prime Minister Narendra Modi is a key figure, seeking a third term which would match the record set by India's first Prime Minister. His platform, economic reform and a strong nationalistic approach. But it's not just about Modi. This election sees the Bharatiya Janata Party pitted against a coalition of over a dozen opposition parties, including the historically significant Indian National Congress. The strategies, the campaigns, the promises, it's like watching a high-stakes drama unfold. Let's not forget, the cost of this massive democratic exercise is astronomical, expected to exceed the $8.5 billion spent in 2019, making it potentially the most expensive election ever held. So, why does this matter on a global scale? India is a major player on the world stage, and its political climate can influence everything from global markets to international policies on climate change and trade. The decisions made in these polling booths extend far beyond the borders of India. In conclusion, while the Indian election might seem distant or foreign, its impacts are anything but. It's a testament to the power of democracy, the complexity of governance, and the influence of public sentiment in shaping the future. So, let's keep an eye on this, because what happens in India will likely affect all of us in one way or another. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll explore more fascinating global events and their implications.